Good morning, everyone. We are back here about 13 minutes past the hour on a Wednesday. Let's go ahead and check in with Aaron to see what our forecast is looking like today. Well, we are expected to see some sunshine into the afternoon hours. That is going to be uh, one of the nicer afternoons that we'll see this week. Uh, both today as well as tomorrow will bring the opportunity for seeing some peaks of sunshine. Now, uh, if you happen to get out and about, go hiking, may want to hit the trails. Well, uh, keep in mind that avalanche forecast continues to remain moderate above 1,000 feet, even though at the surface, uh, things remain uh, fairly quiet above 1,000 feet. We continue to see the potential uh, for some strong winds and some additional snow accumulation from that active and unsettled weather uh, in the Gulf of Alaska. And so that's going to lead to that potential for uh, still seeing the possibility or likelihood that some avalanches could be triggered. You can see that area of low pressure uh, in the Gulf of Alaska leading to snow, rain, uh, and some winds for both southeast as well as uh, here in south central for Prince William Sound. Uh, where we are waking up this morning to some light snowfall and then out towards western Alaska. Uh, we do have two areas of low pressure systems that's continuing to keep some light snow uh, around for the first part of the morning. Last week, we spent uh, really much of last week in bitter cold conditions. Now with that active weather returning to the state, uh, those lows are continuing to allow that colder air to retreat. You can see temperatures across the state uh, roughly 5 to about 10 degrees warmer than what we've been sitting at this time yesterday. Uh, even warmer out towards southeast where you can see Juneau and Ketchikan seeing those temperatures nearly 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning. That is that active and unsettled weather in the Gulf of Alaska. For today, we're actually going to see highs uh, break freezing for uh, parts of south central. We'll see some peaks of sunshine. Uh, into the afternoon hours. Enjoy that sunny weather that we will see for parts of the day. Uh, both today as well as tomorrow will bring opportunities for seeing uh, some of that peak of some uh, sunshine across South Central. Notice this active weather. Uh, we continue to watch this area of low pressure in the eastern Gulf of Alaska leading to widespread snowfall uh, out towards the Panhandle. We'll see the potential for some areas of wintry mix uh, as those temperatures continue to warm, but you can really see here over the next several days uh, how that active weather, uh, active and unsettled weather will continue to keep that daily chance for both rain and snow uh, in the forecast. More so towards southeast and here in south central, but uh, even with that being said, we'll still see some cloudy conditions lingering across uh, south central as we head through the rest of this week. March 11th through the 15th, continuing to show a trending uh, weather pattern for much of the state outside of western Alaska, which is going to tilt uh, on the drier side, which if you remember from uh, yesterday, this is the area we're also watching uh, for the return to some bitter cold conditions. So also lining up for the potential uh, for some drier weather to take hold across the western parts of the state as well. So widespread snow arriving across southeast and some areas of rain embedded within that as those temperatures warm uh, into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. You can see across south central uh, coastal snow still remains uh, primarily for Seward, 38 degrees in Seward, 35 in Soldotna. Uh, we are up under that freeze thaw pattern, so be careful on those roadways. Even though temperatures aren't expected to warm significantly, the friction from those tires will lead to some additional melting. 40 in Whittier, 38 degrees in Valdu, uh, Valdez with some light snow showers. Uh, you can see into the valley, we're going to continue to hold on to those uh, milder conditions. Temperatures expected to warm into the mid-30s later this afternoon. Still seeing those mild nights, though. Overnight lows dipping down into the upper teens and lower 20s. And depending on cloud coverage, we could even wake up tomorrow morning uh, to temperatures sitting in the mid-20s. So that freeze thaw pattern stays with us through the rest of the week. Welcoming in the weekend with a chance for some snow. Also set those clocks forward uh, Saturday night and Sunday. We are at that time of the year where we're beginning to usher our way closer and closer to spring. The light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Thanks, Aaron.